I never thought that the shirt I wore to school one spring morning would lead to a federal lawsuit, but the reaction from the adults running my school didn't leave me with much choice. My name is Liam Morrison. I'm in 8th grade at Nichols Middle School in Middleborough, Massachusetts. Like many public schools throughout the country, my school isn't shy about expressing its views on a wide range of political topics. My school's annual Pride Month celebration is a pretty clear example. My school spends all of June expressing its view on LGBTQ plus issues, and school officials encourage us to wear our Pride gear to celebrate Pride Month. The administration believes that a person's status as a male or female, or something else, depends only on what they feel themselves to be, and not at all on biology. You can hardly go a day without hearing those views through conversations, hallway displays, and extracurricular school events. Like my teachers and principal, I have beliefs too, and I'm not shy about sharing them. I believe there are only two sexes, male and female, and I believe what we call a person's gender, whether someone is man or woman, boy or girl, has everything to do with whether their sex is male or female. This view is backed up by science, and even though the administrators at my school would like me to think I'm alone in holding this view, I know I'm not. Many of my classmates agree. So, on that spring morning, I wore a shirt that got right to the point. There are only two genders. It was so first period when my principal pulled me out of class. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that the words on my shirt might make some students feel unsafe. That's right, they admitted the possibility that some words on a shirt might make people feel unsafe was enough to silence my speech, speech on a topic that already floods the school. They claimed that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I was told that I would need to change my shirt before I could return to class. When I respectfully told them that I did not want to do that, they called my dad. Thankfully, he supported my decision and came to pick me up. The next week, my dad sent an email to the district superintendent. He wanted to know why I wasn't allowed to express my own opinion, even though I see others do the same every day in their choice of clothes, pins, posters, and speech. Even at 12 years old, I have my own opinions, and I have a right to express those opinions, even at school. This right is called free speech, and is protected by the First Amendment to the Constitution. We got in touch with an attorney, who sent a letter to explain that to the district. In response, the district doubled down. They sent a letter back saying they would continue to censor anyone who disagreed with their view on gender identity. So, the day after we got the letter, I wore another shirt to school. This time, it said, there are censored genders. As soon as I showed up in class, I was sent to the principal's office. I'm an honor roll student, and I didn't want to miss another day of school, so I changed my shirt so I could stay. Rather than respecting my right to free speech, officials chose to censor me, twice. That's why, with the help of Alliance Defending Freedom and the Massachusetts Family Institute, we filed a lawsuit calling on the court to hold my school accountable for violating my constitutional freedoms. I've learned a lot from this experience. I've learned that a lot of other students share my view, and I've learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. Now it's my school district's time to learn a valuable lesson. Free speech is for everyone, including those who disagree with those in charge. To find more stories like mine, visit adflegal.org slash freedom matters. Before you go, click like on this video and subscribe to this channel so you never miss an episode.